there was a spooky witch and she flew through the sky. Oh no! Oh, there was a spooky witch and she had a broomstick. There was a spooky witch and she had a tall black hat. There was a spooky witch and she flew through the sky. There was a spooky witch and she cast spells from her cauldron. Ah! You got markers? Oh, wow! I got a map! <clears throat> oh, you got a map? What does the map say? It reads the way to the treasure. Oh, we better go find the treasure. Hi, Port. Good morning, you guys. So I was meaning to film yesterday and I didn't, but I did take a couple clips here and there. We went to my mom's house and did some Christmas cookie making. Grayson helped make cookies and we decorated cookies. It was super fun. It was like a whole day of cookies. Um, Gray and Porter loved helping. And so I got some videos. So I will include those here. Yeah. Cheese. We're making Christmas cookies. One cup of Crisco. Two eggs. Two tablespoons of milk. One teaspoon of vanilla. Two and a half cups of flour. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, he's in Toledo. But he's in Toledo. And he's supposed to. Then we mix up. He is a raspberry beans on the weekends because the Buckeyes are playing. Is it good? Yeah. Making cookies part two. Make sure the cookie dough. Time to let go. You put it in and push it down. Pick it up. Uh, put it on the Put the cookies in the oven. Go ahead, squeeze the bag. The sprinkles. My hand is too big. Oh, 
said I don't think that's Why helping. Like? No, that's looking really. It's purpley. That's good enough. You looks like it looks that, like huh? clay. Like what? Clay. We uh, took some cookies home with us. So they are in this uh, box right here. And our elf, Mistletoe, decided to help himself to one of the cookies. How silly is that, Mistletoe? So he is eating one. He even has some frosting on his mouth. Do you see the elf, Porter? That. Elf, is he eating a cookie? That's silly elf. He even took a big bite out of it. He must think our cookies are good too. Ah. Uh, yeah, you got markers, huh? Ah. Uh, you want to open? Yeah, we make cookies. They are my uh, great grandma's sugar cookie recipe. Um, we make them every year and we love them. And then the frosting, we just make it with powdered sugar and water and then some food dye coloring. And those are our uh, Christmas cookies that we make every year. So the boys have fun helping and we had fun making them and decorating them. And uh, yeah, I was gonna film, but just wanted to enjoy time with the family and just focus on that and not so much filming. So it's the day after and today I am filming because I have sad news. So um, if you watched in my vlog a couple vlogs ago we took porter to the pediatrician a couple days ago for his 15 month appointment and at the appointment they pricked his um sorry the cameras everywhere they pricked his finger to check for lead levels because he tested high the first time <clears throat> well they tested him again and again he came back high now when i say high it's actually not that high it their good levels are anywhere below five and he's at five so he's like right on the cusp but because he's failed the test twice he has to now go and get a blood draw they won't prick his finger anymore so i have to take him to children's hospital and we have to go and get a blood draw so that's what we're doing this morning i just want to get it out of the way it's like five days till christmas so i want to get this done and hopefully with the blood draw his levels will come back low because i'm not quite sure what happens if he fails a third test so that's what we're going to do today i'm dropping grayson off at my mom's again she's helping me so much with this and then I'm gonna take Porter and we're gonna go and get this done. Hopefully it's not too traumatizing for him. I know it's he's not gonna like it, it's gonna hurt. Um, hopefully it's over fast. We are taking him, funny enough, we're taking him to the same place that we took him to get head x-rays. When he was like two months old, we went and got x-rays of his skull because we were worried it was shaped kind of weirdly. And so we just wanted to make sure that like his growth plates in his head were forming right and it all turned out to be fine so I hope we get good news again this time and everything turns out okay but uh hopefully say a little prayer for Porter hopefully everything goes okay are we gonna go get your blood drawn today yeah it's not gonna be fun huh the hardest thing about taking a kid to go do this and a kid as young as Porter being 15 months old is uh, I can't tell him what's happening. I can't warn him about what's happening. Like I can't reason with him. Like he's 15 months. He doesn't understand what's going on. So it's gonna be a little. Yes, you did get a. Did you did you get a haircut yesterday? Yeah. Who gave you a haircut? What? Gramps did. And then what did you do after your haircut? Purple cream. You make some cookies. We did make cookies. And did you take a shower after you got your haircut? Yeah. Grayson got a haircut and then we took a shower to wash all the hair off and that was the first time he's ever taken a shower. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty fun. He kind of cowered for a little bit, but then he got used to it. So it was an adventure yesterday, but he desperately needed a haircut. Porter got a haircut too. I don't know if I told you all that. 
Um, but Porter got a haircut, he needed it as well. But anyway, um, I'm not sure that I'll be able to record when we go to the hospital, but I will keep you guys updated on how everything goes. So, poor Porter. There you are, don't eat the crayons. Did you get a haircut? Porter got a haircut and he actually did really well. He only cried at the very beginning. No, we don't draw on the walls. Oh gosh, he's double fisting with crayons. He only cried at the beginning and then they put on like Coco Melon because it was like a kid's place where they have TVs and he was happy and he just sit, sat there. He's getting so big. So uh, yeah, that was a win too. What are you doing, Gray? Are you reading your coloring book? And what are you doing, Port? Oh, you got a marker in your mouth. <laughs> So it is several hours later. We are back from the doctor. What did you find? As you can see, Porter's got this little tag that they gave him. And then, I forget which arm it was. Is it this one? So it was this one. And also, he's got this cool little band-aid from where they poked him. Did you get a band-aid? He got a band-aid and this. Oh. Yeah, he does. Is it your band-aid? Um. So it actually went a lot better than I was thinking it would at this doctor's office. Um, we got in, they got our insurance, and the guy was checked in, and we waited like maybe five minutes. They were dead because we went right when they opened up. And we were able to uh, go in, they had the nurse, and then they had a helper to the nurse who held his arm, and then they had me sit and hold him. So there was three of us working on him. He cried when they poked him, but it wasn't as bad as I thought, and it was over really fast. They got the vial of blood that they needed. Can you please share? Please. Can you share with Porter? Please. Please. Okay. Can you give him the popper, please? Oh, thank you. See, thank you, brother. That was so nice. Ignore our messy playroom. That was so nice. Yeah, he's so happy. Yeah, good popping. So anyway, yeah, it went really fast. He didn't cry as bad as I thought he was going to, and it was over, and then he was happy. So they gave him a little bear sticker, and he loved it. He kept saying, rawr, rawr. And uh, my mom, thankfully, was able to watch Grayson for me, which was super nice, so that I didn't take have to take him and Porter. So that's done. They said the results will be in in like three days. So I, I, I'm shocked. I thought it would come in a lot faster. But anyway, three days and then we'll know. So I'll keep you guys updated. But say, I'm all good. I'm all happy. I'm all I'm happy. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. So we're gonna go outside, it's after nap time now, we're gonna go outside and do some sidewalk chalk. Does that sound like fun? Yes! Okay, we're gonna go out. I'll record if we do anything cute. <laughs> and dance? Mm-hmm, dance, Santa. Late night dance party with Grayson and Porter. Grayson's pretending to be Santa. And Porter just wants cheese puffs. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you want a cheese puff too? Yeah. Okay, we're all having cheese puffs tonight. Even though we just had dinner. They didn't like my cooking. Hey guys, so it's actually um, a couple days after this video was filmed, but I wanted, I told you guys I would keep you updated, so I wanted to update you. Um, so like you saw in this vlog, I took Porter to Nationwide Hospital and we got his blood drawn because he failed his lead test by like one point. The nurses at his pediatrician's office kept assuring me that it was probably just an error on either the nurse's part or the machine's part but nevertheless like we had to go and take him and get him tested um, and they actually wanted us to get it done like fairly quickly like it had to be done within a week of them telling me so I wasted no time and now he went like on the first weekday that I could. They originally told me that I would get the results back in like three days, but I got the results back like the next day. So it was actually really fast. The pediatrician's office called me and good news, 
reporter does not have lead poisoning or bad lead or anything. They said his results came at less than two, I think is what, what she told me. So it was super, super low. It was just must have been an error on the nurse's part, I guess. Um, I've talked about this in previous vlogs, but basically what I was told was sometimes um, when they go to do the finger prick, they will first swab the finger with like an alcohol swab to like get rid of bacteria and stuff. And they don't let it um, dry for long enough. And because because of that, when they poke it to get the blood, uh, when the blood comes out, it actually takes some of the alcohol swab with it into the test file. And so when they test it, the results are not right. They have like lead in them or they have some error in them. And so that's what shows up. So they said it to me like it made me think that it happens a lot, which makes me sad that there are so many families out there that probably have to go through this where they worry and they have to take their kid to the um, hospital and they have to get the draw the vein and what kid likes that and then of course I'm sure we're gonna get a um, I'm sure we're gonna get a bill from the hospital who knows how much that's gonna be we got a bill when we did Porter's head x-ray so I'm just waiting for that to come so how sad that you know all that had to happen because of an error on the nurse's part of the pediatrician and it's not like oh this is the only kid like this happened to Grayson as well it just the second time they pricked his finger the the vial didn't get tainted and it came out fine so I'm kind of annoyed about it if you couldn't tell I mean I'm glad Porter is okay leave it to Porter it's always something with him he like I said he's at the head x-rays he had to get the, the, the blood draw for his lead levels he got COVID like I just feel like if anything bad happens it's more likely to happen to Porter than Grayson so hopefully that doesn't like carry on throughout life <laughs> but but yeah, he just always keeps us on our toes. I don't know, it's the second kid. So anyway, just wanted to close out this vlog and let you all know Porter is fine. He's perfect. His love levels are great. Um, Anthony and I were trying to figure out like what could even be, you know, increasing his lead levels. Um, we Googled it and they were like, oh, if he's exposed to like old paint of houses, like I guess paint back in the day, um several several years ago like they didn't they would have lead in it and so if you live in an old house and the uh, paint chips and stuff you could get exposed to it that way we do live in an old house but the people before us painted it several times and then we recently painted it when we first moved in so we weren't worried about that apparently lead can be in the dirt um lead can be in old children's toys uh, which we don't really have any of that. Um, also, if you have lead pipes, lead could come out of that, which that would be the only, like, most likely thing I could think of if that was, if, like, his, if he actually did have high lead levels. Obviously, he doesn't. We did put a filter on our uh, kitchen faucet in the sink. So I'm like, I don't know what his lead levels would be high from, but obviously he's fine. So just wanted to let you know he's fine. He's great. <laughs> um, so anyway, just closing out this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below, have you ever had to deal with all of this lead levels and having to go get the blood draw and, and whatsoever, or is it more unique than what I think it is? Um, let me know down below. But yeah, definitely stay tuned. Lots more Christmas vlogs coming. And of course our vacation in Jamaica, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. And um, yeah, definitely stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!